Portland and the Rockies. Some wet weather right here in the nation's midsection. That's a quick look at the national weather. Now the local forecast. Neptune, New Jersey will have breezy and warmer conditions today with a high temperature of 44 degrees. It'll be sunny and warmer in Jupiter, Florida, high 68, and Venus, Nebraska. Another nice, mild, pleasant day, pleasantly cool, high temperature 47 degrees. That's a quick look at the national weather. We'll be back in the next half hour with more details. David? Okay. I want to hang a lamp for the second show. I want to hang a lamp. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I know you can do it yeah. because you're the department head. It's tough. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. Jimmy. For the second show, we'll yeah. save your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Weather radio. All right. I love it. I'm right or I think I'm wrong. Current set pick. W1. Huh? W1. Stand by. Quiet. Second show. Are you ready? Uh, uh, just a second. Okay. Okay. This is the second show. You're taking it from Joan? From Joan? Going to commercial. Okay. First one is from Joan and Tutu. Okay. No from Joan, there. not from David. Jimmy, we're hanging okay. a 2K on. Good morning, America one. I will cross Is it... Um, Come on. What do you need? Uh, Brooke has already given me uh, the, the things here for today's weather. It's brought to you by Salmonax and Bell System. Is it possible to get that put on a... Cue card? Cue card for me so I won't forget to mention Certainly. it? Certainly. Also, the coming up next. I'll need that. I'll need that also. All right. I'll need a cue card made up for Spencer. All right, come on in. Okay, you got it, then. Oh, no. Good. Good. I prefer being on this side. And then I'll just kind of slide to the side. Okay. This, uh, Stand by. okay, this battery thing in my pocket is messing up my... <laughs> Just call me Vito. Quiet. Here we go. Thank you, Joan. Today's weather is brought to you by Sominex. It'll put you to sleep. Uh, <laughs> our national satellite picture shows uh, mostly clear weather out in the Rockies, and it is mostly clear along the Atlantic coast, too, although it looks a little bit hazy here. Only significant area of precip is right here in the southern plains and in the upper Midwest. We've got a large area of rain and snow there. The national map right now looks this way, the surface map. High pressure is uh, producing the clear skies along the Gulf Coast and uh, the Atlantic. A large high pressure system out over the Rockies giving us clear weather there. Here's that old frontal system moving through the plains that's pushing northeastward. Could dampen Washington by inauguration time tomorrow. High temperatures today will uh, be, well, we don't have time to show that. I see the time is running out. Midday map, I know. Uh, we're not going to be able to squeeze all that in. Can we do the visuals faster? Bring it up, Jimmy. Can we move the visuals along a little bit faster? You just, just move them along. I'll follow, I'll follow the, the visual changes there, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Stand by. I'll give you a walk. Thank you, Joan. Today's weather is brought to you by Sominex. But don't let the weather put you to sleep. Satellite picture shows mostly clear skies uh, on the two coasts. Uh, some clouds just moving onshore now in the west. Some rain and uh, windy conditions out there. Some rain and snow down here in the southern plains as a large disturbance moves towards the northeast. Our surface map shows high... Spencer, is the Why are you switching mics? Why am I switching mics? Why am I switching mics? The reason you switched the mics, he said it was bulging. The, right? other, the other one was creating too much of a bulge. <laughs> this, is jo this is Joan's mic. What's the problem? There is no... No, the other yeah, one's got a hook on the back. This one I can hook onto the oh, belt. Okay, the other... <laughs> 
Okay, inauguration day forecast. Uh, cloudy with some sleet. Midday temperature. Yeah, that's fine, so that's all Oh no, that's fine. That'll right. that'll be covered, sure, because I'll have my jacket buttoned. Much better, much better. Oh yeah, much better. That's super. Yep, that's that's fine. Okay. Hi folks, Ken Cone for Cone Motors in Thomasville. Do you want to buy a new 1981 Pontiac? Progressives. Right now, 30 degrees in Pennsylvania. More needed rainfall is uh, dropping out in the northern plains right now. The drought-stricken area is finally getting some relief as rains have started and will continue for most of the day. Severe storms continue in the southern plains. That area was hit late last week and over the weekend by heavy rains, damaging winds, and the same thing is happening right now. Our mid-morning map will show a low down in Texas producing most of the stormy weather there, another low up in the northern plains producing rainfall there, a cold front connecting the two. Daytime highs mainly warm throughout the nation's midsection, 80s and 90s, 70s up in the northern tier states. That's a look at the national weather. Now the local forecast. Sun, Louisiana, maybe a passing thunderstorm, high 88. Burnsville, West Virginia, showers and storms, high 79. And Taneyville, Missouri, becoming sunny and warm, high temperature 84 degrees. <clears throat> That's a quick look at the national weather. We'll have more details later. Sandy? The, John? I mean, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> That's Sandy. Sandy is the floor director. <laughs> Sandy is the floor director. Joan. Yeah, right. Uh, and then he woke up. Roger, get a turkey. Back to 158th Street. Oh, if, if man could blush, face would be red. <laughs> blush, oh, Schwarzer. <laughs> Joan? <laughs> That? <laughs> From, thank you, David. Okay. <laughs> this weather, Joan, this weather is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson's Sundown Sunscreen. <laughs> you want a tan like mine, folks. <laughs> Our satellite, satellite sequence from the last 24 hours shows the development and movement of rains into the plains. See those clouds moving into the north, <laughs> into the Dakotas? And a little bit of movement down here in Texas where those storms are building and threaten to bring more severe weather to that area today. Also looks like some showers pushing across the Gulf Coast there, wet in the central part of the country and down in the southeast. Well, let's set our maps in motion, starting with our 
current national map, we find uh, low up in the northern plains, low down here in Texas, connected by a cold front. This is moving ever so slowly to the east, and that's going to be the system that produces rain for the midsection of the country today and uh, threatens to move eastward and dampen our spirits later in the week. A lot of shower activity down here in the southeast and Gulf Coast states as a frontal system weaves its way through there and out to sea. But high pressure protecting the northeastern states right now and has produced some rather cool warning weather in that area for the first day in June. Meanwhile, out west, mostly clear, high pressure dominating there also. Today's projected high temperatures, look at these warm readings. 90s and 80s throughout the southern states and the central part of the country today. A few cooler 70s up in the northern states and maybe uh, not even breaking 70 degrees in the extreme northeast where 68 is projected high in portions of upper New England. That's a look at the national weather. Now here's the local forecast. Um, Fork, North Carolina, showers and storms, high 79. Forked River, New Jersey, clouding up after a sunny start, high 77. And Forks, Washington, sunny most of the day, high 74. Well, that's it for now, but uh, I'll be back later. Hey, coming up, <laughs> Superman and Lois. More romance? Well, ask Christopher Reeve. I always okay. I'll go more slowly. Well, I, I always say that uh, that uh, Perry White and Jimmy Olsen had to really be dumb not to know that Clark Kent was Superman. After all, they'd walk in the men's room and see Clark Kent standing 50 yards from the urinal like this. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Stations, please stand by. This is brought to you by Nabisco's Wheatsworth. Well, as we take a look at our satellite picture from uh, outer space, of course, we see clouds pushing into the Great Lakes and the uh, towards the Ohio Valley today. Uh, this is a system that yesterday brought storms and thunderstorms to the central plains. It's now pushing eastward. And uh, let's take a look at our weather maps and see what this means. Currently, we have this and that, and it's dark up here, and it's dark down there, and a high over here, and a low over there, and you know, and all this. And as we set our maps in motion, we find that during, throughout the day, high pressure will uh, hold on in the southeast and mid-Atlantic and keep those regions clear. But in the uh, Great Lakes, in the central Mississippi Valley, in the central plains, there will be stormy weather. Coming up, Christy Brinkley. That'll hold you. Show three. Stand by. Four, three, two. Thank you, Frank. Well, let's get into the weather here. Our uh, current map shows a band of thunder showers reaching from the Great Lakes down into the uh, Nebraska, Missouri area, and uh, that system's going to dump a lot of rainfall on uh, the central Mississippi Valley, western Great Lakes today as it tries to push eastward towards the Atlantic. Uh, also, we still have uh, winter storm activity going on out here in the Rockies, a little snow falling in Wyoming and Colorado, and uh, it's going to be cold out there today. Let's take a look at our projected highs. Oh, we do have a okay, severe weather alert, storms and thunderstorms here, and severe winter weather is possible for portions of the central Rockies. We are predicting highs only in the 40s and 30s and 50s in the central Rockies where it's cold, oh yes, just like winter. Meanwhile, seasonably warm here in the east and the southeast as highs will get into the 80s. That's the national weather. Here's a local forecast. Bruce, South Dakota, cloudy and sprinkly, high 58. Bruce, Florida, abundant sun, high 83. And Bruce Town, Virginia, lots of sun and a high of 78. That's a quick look at the weather for now. We'll have more details coming up later. Frank? GIF? The GIF. So where's David today? California Affiliates. California Affiliates. affiliates. He's at all the California Affiliates today. He's in California. He's in California for the Affiliates. Joe Four. Joe Four. Four. Three. Two. Joe Four. Thank you, Jones. Uh, <laughs> weather today is brought to you by Extra Strength Tylenol. Yes. Well, the view from outer space shows a lot of stormy weather right here in the central part of the country. Let's zoom in on that 
And boy, look at that cluster of clouds. It's going to be rainy out there and stormy today in the upper Mississippi Valley, northern plains, and reaching into the western Great Lakes now. Snow still falling in some areas, uh, freezing rain in others. Daytime highs expected to reach only into the 30s and 40s in many locations where the winter storm has taken hold. By mid-morning, our weather map will look like this. Cold front slicing through the central part of the country and pushing eastward. High pressure down here in the southeast forming a blocking pattern, keeping those storms from pushing into the coastal areas of the Atlantic. But, oh, and we're predicting <laughs> highs in the seasonable 70s and 80s throughout most of the east and southeast. But look how chilly it is back west where winter-like conditions persist. That's the national weather. Here's the local forecast. Um, Burton, California, mostly sunny, high 70. Burt, Tennessee, gorgeous, high 84. Burt, North Dakota, few peaks of sun, high 51. That's our weather today. Coming up, Susan Lucci. Okay. Hello, sports fans. I want no sports interviews. That's the national weather. Here's a local forecast. And we'll have New York, New York. And we'll have uh, Bergen County, New Jersey. Sussex County. Yeah, and then we'll have Sussex County and Putnam County. Newark. And, and Newark. 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 And that's the weather for now. Coming up, Joel Siegel reviews the movie Porky's. <laughs> that's Trey. Porky this. Yeah, Porky this. Hello, High Point, North Carolina. Stand by. Highland Lake. Hi. Hi, y'all. How about Y'all had your grits yet? <laughs> Wake up. Well, little Bye -bye. Susie. Bye-bye. Like... Okay. To your right, from Joan. Okay. Three, two, a, oh no. Thank you, Joan. Good morning to you. Well, we've got some really strange weather developing this morning. Here it is, mid-May already, almost summer, and look at the cold weather we've got out west. 27 degrees right now over the, uh, somewhere in, in Oregon. <laughs> 43 up here in Boise, and we have snow. That's right, Virginia. You heard me correctly. Snowfall over the higher elevations of the Rockies. We also have a lot of rain in the northern plains. It's chilly up there also as cold Canadian air is spilling down behind that cold front. But mostly seasonable weather here in the east and central parts of the country as daytime highs will reach into the 70s and 80s in most locations there. But boy, will it be chilly up in the mountains. Look out. That's the national weather. Here's a local forecast. Closter, New Jersey will be off the Palisades Parkway. Uh, Tenafly, New Jersey will be just north of Inglewood. And Fort Lee will be in Sicily. That's the weather. For, oops, that's the weather for right now, and we'll be back later. Joan? What's the weather like at Bloomingdale's? That's all I Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dorf. Uh, Dorf dies. Dorf has in his will that's going to be cremated and have his ashes spread all over. Oh, all over Bloomingdale's, right? So his kids will come and visit him, right? <laughs> Uh, oh, pina colada. Mm, nice vintage. Thursday. Bronx. Chateau okay, Bronx. Eh? <laughs> Chateau Bronx, right. Yes. Are we doing number four? I guess that's fresh wine. That's it. <laughs> that's all? That's it, man. Oh, hello, Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. Hometown. How about Barry Lakes, New Jersey? Barry Lakes, New Jersey? Richmond, Virginia. Hometown. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay. So I live in Vermin. You know where Vermin, New Jersey is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Next to Rodent. <laughs> in the Highland Lakes. Okay, keep mm. going until you get the last. By the Playboy Club, which mm. is the Morty Playboy Club. Ah! Joan Wright. Hello, good morning, Joan Wright. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get right into the weather today, and here's what we have. Oh, it didn't start yet, okay. Now? Now we start. Oh, no. Whoa! Look at that orange juice. I didn't need a half gallon. There you go, there, pal. <laughs> oh, say, <laughs> oh, <it's there. laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, nice vintage. Yeah, that's a gift to March. Anita Bryant. Hmm. Anita. The weather office said that with salt meter in it. 
You didn't know Anita Bryant was my sister, did you? She's the white sheep of the family. I wouldn't try to pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> Ooh. Ram it. We're on the net line. Hello, net. You're on the net line. On the net line. As opposed to the gross line. This is the net line. This is the grossest net I've ever worked for, that's for sure. Uh, how about some Gentiles? <laughs> okay. Boom. Shoom, bam. What else do you do? <laughs> <laughs> now you know what you're Good morning, New York. I'll tell you. That's right. I'll tell you. I used to date fat girls, you know. Are you yeah. all ready? Four, three, two, stand by. Okay. Good morning, Joan, and how are you? Well, that's good. Glad to hear that. Let's get right into the weather. Well, it's a real butte, as they say, in weather talk. Down in the southeast, sunshiny skies, nice warm spring-like temperatures. Nothing to worry about down there except a few occasional high clouds. Well, more than that to worry about in the southern and central plains. Storms are still ripping through that area. Through Tornado Alley, we've got reports of golf ball-sized hail, tornadoes, and heavy thunder showers. They will continue throughout the day. Meanwhile, out in the southwest, a drop and a flake. Yes, a drop of rain and a flake of snow, as opposed to a flake of rain and a drop of snow. By midday, the map will look like this. Ooh, you like that, huh? Cold front cutting through the nation's midsection. A lot of storms and shower activity right in the central part of the country. Elsewhere, it looks pretty good. That's the national weather. Here's the local forecast. Carlton, Oregon. Breezy, mixed sun and clouds, high 60. Carlsbad, New Mexico, a possible PM thunderstorm, high 78. And Carlos, Maryland, mostly sunny and a high of 80. That's a quick look at the weather for now. We'll be back, back with more details later. Frank? We will, but I don't know about you. Yeah, I'll tell you, she was, she was so fat when she was a kid, she could only play seek. <laughs> seek. See, she was so fat, she could, uh, couldn't hide, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. How come Dolly Parton's feet are so small? I give up. How come? Nothing grows in the dark. Nothing grows in the dark. <laughs> And those things that do only last a long, short while. Yes. Some shorter than others. I've seen some pretty big mushrooms. Okay. Yes, I do. That's right. We're really on the net line now, boy. The hot line. The big line. Yes, that big line in the sky. It's. <laughs> Yeah, we're on the network. Hello, network. Oh, gee, I, phew, I forgot. Oh, gee, I, phew, I forgot. I'm glad you reminded me. It just totally slipped my mind, you know? Hey, what can I tell you, you know? I'll tell you. My, my brother, you know, when I was a kid, I had measles. He took out his crayons and connected my spots. I said, <laughs> okay, stand by. Quiet, please. Take <laughs> Okay. Five, four, three. Gee, I'm so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Weather today is brought to you by Nabisco Shredded Wheat. As we take a look at our satellite uh, picture and look at the sequence over the last 24 hours, <laughs> we see storms building and expanding here in the central plains. Incredible. Just watch it burst open there. A big oh. white cloud of uh, messy weather. And uh, that's what the uh, central part of the country has in store today. Let's go to our current map and we'll find that there's a cold front slicing down from the Great Lakes through the central plains into southwest Texas. Big low in the center there is kicking up lots of storms, hailstorms, tornadoes have been uh, spawned by that system overnight. And uh, during the day as we set our maps in motion, we find 
That's a look at the national weather. Here's the local forecast. Cecil, Alabama, sunny, high 89. Cecil, Pennsylvania, few clouds, high 81. And Cecil, Georgia, catch those rays. <laughs> like that phrase? 90 degrees. That's the weather for now. Coming up, I don't get no respect, you know. Rodney Dangerfield. No, tell you, it's rough, you know. That's yeah. I <laughs> Okay, you're on. Yeah. Um, two things. That's we need a little more time in there. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that that extra line it helps. Yeah. Okay. And the same thing in the last half hour when uh, you talk about the red lamp, uh, we can uh, give you some information. Just need a descriptive phrase about what's what's coming up. Okay. Okay. And just one other thing. Wait. Uh, don't go on the light when I cut back to you out of the local forecast. Wait for the queue. Oh, yeah. Right. I have a tendency to jump that queue as soon as I see myself pop in. Yeah. What yeah. happens, uh, a lot of stations wait to see you before they cut back out of something they cut away from, and they'll all cut you if you jump right on it. I got you. Okay. Ah, <sighs> Okay, we will do the third show, Spencer. Oh, third show. Three, two. We lost it. That old, that old black magic. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, back to the flesh background. That's okay. John is just jealous. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Spencer at the bat again. Kiss the Pope. Pope's, wear Pope's wearing a yarmulke. <laughs> you better watch out what you kiss. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Thank you, Joan. Well, we've got some interesting weather today, you might say. Uh, looking at our current map right now, clear down to the southeast and most of the mid-Atlantic region right now, although clouds will be pushing in later in the day, and clear out of the northwest, but a lot of nasty and turbulent weather right here in the central part of the country, and boy, the central plains have really had their... ...over Kansas. That'll trigger thunderstorms today, possibly some rainstorms or tornadoes overnight. There are two intersecting funnel systems here, one reaching down to southwest Texas, another reaching northeastward up into the Great Lakes. All along those funnel systems, we have rain showers and thunderstorms. And during the day, things aren't likely to get much better. We have issued a severe weather alert for the central and southern plains, the central Mississippi Valley. It's going to be very stormy there today. There could be flash flooding. There could be tornadoes. Traveler's advisory issued for most of the central and western portion of uh, Colorado where snow has accumulated during the week and freezing temperatures have prevented the melting of that white flaky substance. Ye highs today will be mainly in the seasonable 70s and 80s in the east, much, much cooler in the west. Highs in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. That's the national weather. Here's a local forecast. Charleston, Utah, clouds and sun, high 56. Charles City, Iowa. Thunder boomer bumpers, high 76. And Charlesburg, uh, Wisconsin, bring your bumper chute. Hmm. Spence, you got to step back in just a little further. I can't even, I can't see myself on the, oh, there you go. Now I know where I am. I don't write them, I just read them. <laughs> Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a real gas to me. Okay. You wouldn't know what it felt like to the guy that did it. Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, interesting. Charles City, Iowa. My the the town that I grew up in in Virginia is Charles City, Virginia, named after Prince Charles, founded in seven in 1634. I didn't know there was another Charles City anywhere in the country. Shit, you learn something every day. Well, you know now, landfill breath. <laughs> <laughs> landfill breath. <laughs> Gee. Oh. Hey, Spencer, we saw your sports. Get a day job. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any good comebacks to something like that. I know. <laughs> 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 
It's like when I was when I was hosting Good Morning New York. There was a kid in the audience one day said, uh, "Oh man, my father said your jokes are so corny. Boy, he can't." And I said, "That's okay, sucker. I'm on TV and he's not." <laughs> but, <laughs> but you can't say that for long. You never know how long that'll last. You know. <laughs> okay, Frank. Thank you. And the weather today is brought to you by Zibel System. Well, our latest uh, satellite picture from outer space shows you uh, very clearly that clear skies and cool and seasonably uh, so out in the northwest with highs in the 60s. National weather, here's a local forecast. Craig, Colorado, rain and snow, high 39. Craig, Florida, abundant sunshine, high 85. And Craig, Montana, some afternoon rain showers and a high of 57. That's the weather for today. Coming up. Loretta Lynn, y'all. Hi. She's just a coal miner's daughter. Did he clip you? Go to your room. Clip me? No. Go to my rooms. I'm just a well digger. I was on my way to school yesterday. Okay. Thank you, sir. They've got a great sound. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the Flintstones.